Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. So I have baby Orion here. I um <laughs> I'm always like Orion, Orion. I like Orion. It's O R I O N. Um so this is a cuddle head that is sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscuiti. Um so here's the thing with this one. Um I reached out to her about this particular uh, cuddle head because when I seen it, every time I would see it or come across it, I was kind of like, something about it was just drawing me to it. And I was just like, ah, I don't know, I just need to see this one in person. Um, and I couldn't figure it out, like what it was. So when I um, I got it here and I he was turned to the like how he is now in this angle I was like that's it oh my gosh I he reminded me of uh Bryson there's a photo of Bryson where his he's laying and his his head is in the same angle and I was like that is so crazy if if the lips was a little different it would have really really looked a lot like him in that photo like even more so in that photo so i of course you know use that photo to uh try to paint him um because i i don't know and it's like he doesn't look just like him but it's faces like bryson makes a lot of faces so and i know this sounds crazy because every time a new baby is born I use them a lot for inspirations, rather it's my grandkids or my kids, friends, kids, babies. I always like get fixated on using their photos for inspiration or whatever amongst a million other photos that I use. But I was just like, that is what it is. And it's like, for some odd reason, I'm literally like just drawn to him because Bryson is he makes this very serious face all the time. Like he, my mom always is like, do that boy ever smile? Like he barely, but he does. He'll, he'll laugh and, and he'll smile, but he just as a general. And like, if he just meets you and he don't know you, he just looks at you like with a straight face and you can laugh and Google Gaga all you want. And he just look at you like you're stupid. Like really? <laughs> So he has a serious expression and this sculpt was sculpted after a real baby and so um, where it looks like the real baby but it just reminded me of my grandson so that's why um, I been taking my time with him and then um, he's going to of course you know we're gonna see cuz I <laughs> I know I said he's going to be available when, you know, after he's done and everything and it's a lot going on. Um, but I don't know. Because I, I don't know. And he is on a newborn size Reggie Ann body. Now, some people like really big bodies. And for me, sometimes I feel like I see a lot of cuddle babies on bodies that's way too big for them um but you know everybody have their own preference i think this body fits him perfectly um i i really really love his size this little outfit is kind of big on him a little baggy but fits like a real baby would fit um and it's a zero to three um his legs are not overly skinny as you can see that they 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 fill out you know his um pants and stuff and so for me i just like this i really really like this body for him let me see if i can take you guys off so i really really like this body for him um my Orion mouth has been open, so he can take a pacifier as well. 
Um, but yeah, I did. I, he does have magnets in his hands as well so that he can, um, he can put his hands together. Like, say I can pray. <laughs> so yeah, so he, his little hands, it's just, you know, when I want to pose him. Um, if you had a reborn, you could put like a magnet in the head or something or on the face and make it where he holds his face or something. I don't know, but I just put it in there just in case, you know, for certain poses. Um, I always get my, my cuddle babies, uh, body did a little custom for me. So he has a little bum bum and all that and stuff. But that's just me and my baby. He's actually on this color body because he was, I knew he was going to be a lighter baby. So, oh my gosh, I just love him like this. Look, look, look. Let me get over here so you guys can see. He just looks so cute to me. Wait, hold on. I just want y'all to, it's hard for you. Oh my goodness. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Um, you know, for me, I'm I feel like sometimes I'm kind of weird in the way where um a lot of people, I call them mainstream babies. A lot of people, if it's not something that's like extremely popular and everybody's chasing it, some people won't even consider those sculpts there are sculpts out here that are really nice really cute there's one another one that i want to get um that's in vinyl i don't see many people in and on of it but i think it's one of the cutest sculpts um but again like i said if it's not a big name um you know something that every single person got in their collection a lot of people don't don't even give it a second look i like babies that's different um, so like I said, I don't know if he is going to actually leave me. Um, we're, we're going to see right now. I'm just taking my time with him and I'm going to work on other babies and then I'll, I'll see where I'm at with him because when I reached out and, um, and then Kathy said, you could, you could, pro you know, prototype him. And I thought, okay. So I was really excited about that um, because I really, really loved him. Um, anyway, I, I actually was going to get this one myself. I'm like, well, I haven't seen, you know, and she hadn't really been showing him a lot. But every time I would go through their photos and stuff, I, when I come across this one, I'm like, who is this one? Who is this? What's the name of this goal? And so I think I messaged, <laughs> messaged her a few times. I was like, who is this goal? So anyway, I'm, I'm just not, you know, I like what I like. So it's just something about him that reminds me of my grandson. So you're going to hear me. You guys are going to get tired of me saying that about different sculpts because there's another sculpt uh, that I like. An there's another one in vinyl that I feel like reminds me of, of my grandson, too. You guys know I have another I have sculpts that remind me of my daughter and my granddaughter. I have one that I'm holding here blank to when I build the courage to paint it so that I can paint it in a nice brown color to match my granddaughter's skin tone. I am just, you know. Anything that reminds me of my, my family, my kids, whatever, I don't care. I, I, I feel like I gotta at least paint it. <laughs> at least paint it. So anyway, um, that is him. He is probably going to have like a head full of curly hair like uh, Zende. Um, they're actually, actually they have the same, I think it's almost the same here um, in their head. So yeah, if you go look at my Instagram, and my Instagram is Miss Randy Smith Babies. If you go look at my Instagram, 
and you look at their pictures, you can kind of see similarities with their painting too. So, um, I'm having to do my videos like really, really early. So it's super dark in here. So of course coloring is not going to be the best. Um, I'm going to get him changed, but I can't, I just don't want to take him out of this outfit because I love him in his outfit right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to change him eventually, but it's been cold and he has, he's warm and I like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's my sweetie pie. All right. See you guys later. Bye.